Well, it was proved that the, the Israeli military is only that they have power only uh, by air. That's it. When it comes face to face, uh, they're not good fighters. They have the best weapons in the world, but they still are not able to um, to fight as good. Anyway, this is our two cents into it. Do you have any more to add into it? Or? Uh, I th I think I've said my piece for a large part. I just yeah. I think in past debates I've let people back me into a corner on saying yeah. like, don't you think Israel should have a state that that's their own and stuff like that? And I'm just I'm not going to say that anymore. I'm going to say why would they want to live in the Middle East? Not only that, I mean you're yeah, right. You're right. Like it's yeah. just absurd for them to want to live out there. Yeah, yeah. I mean uh, I, I like when the uh, like a uh, Michael Rapport is fucking Polish. You come ah, dude, we end up, we're from the middle. Uh, I Amy Schumer. Yeah, I'm sure it does not yeah, look like she's from exactly. the Middle East. I mean, these people are fucking Polish. Right? That's why uh, um, during a debate, well, uh, there was a Jewish girl that said, well, I mean, the, uh, the, uh, the Palestinians and the Jews, they share this 80 percent of the DNA. I said, yes, they do, but not with the European Jews, with the Arab Jews that were there for centuries since the day of Moses. But these uh, Akhenazi Jews like uh, uh, Netanyahu, they don't, they don't, they're not Semites, they're converts. From the uh, uh, Azadi, I don't know what it's called in, in Ukraine. They converted uh, uh, as a group. They're not from the Middle East. They're not. They have no, no lineage, no DNA. Because if you take a, a Jew from the a Jew from the Middle East, me and him will share the same DNA, maybe eighty percent, or maybe even hundred percent in Yemen. Yeah, we it's know, more in the ninety nine. Yeah, we uh, know they belong range. there because we lived together for centuries. No problem, no issue. You get a problem here and there, but nothing uh, organized or government sponsored or things of that nature. But these guys came with their viciousness from Europe, their their racism, their nationalism. They come with things we never had. We nationalism wasn't a thing in the Arab world until the nineteen twenties. Believe it or not, because the the Turks ruled the Arabs for eight hundred years. Well, they didn't say oh. Why are they Turks? And we are, and then when the British came, they told us, oh, these are you Arab, why are the Turks? And then we fought against the Turks and we, we kicked them out because they told us that we were different. Not Nationalism was not a thing. It was not a, a, a currency. Yeah, I, I would say, like, I'm I'm as much as an anti-nationalist in yeah. that. Like, I don't think there can ever be a good ethno state. Yeah, like, no. I, I, I don't have any problems with any races. You know, this, this applies to white the white racist as much as it applies to, to arabic people and jewish people right yeah uh if you're like even japan and i love japanese culture but if, yeah. if you're exclusionary by default yeah, then yeah. your, your politics are just going to wind up being out of whack it's, it's kind of like uh just like inbreeding it's i'm not saying that that's gonna that, that that's a result of inbreeding but they're dying but, I mean, they, they, but, you know, they, they, but you can't contain culture whether it's biological culture or human social culture without getting these weird bizarro effects well the japanese are so ethno and they are declining in population they're, they're, they're losing population every year they have robots to take care of the, of the elderly in nursing homes because they don't want people from other countries to come inside Japan. that's weird i think that's a yeah. bit reductive but that's certainly yeah. part of it I, yeah. I, I think another part of it is japan just happens to be the perfect culture for that kind of technology to emerge yeah. through capitalism yeah. for yeah. better or for worse. All right. Um, let's move on. Bosch. Finally, one of the, you think he's canceled? Oh no. I, I don't think he can be like quote unquote canceled. He's always going to have his particular in community, but people are certainly like probably getting fed up with having to hear about his, uh, dirty laundry being aired all the time. Yeah, but can you break down what happened? I mean, if you have an idea, because uh, really, I don't understand. They say that somebody got the file. Yeah. A, a, a file or something, right? So Ethan Klein from H3H3, who is a, is a bit of a pearl clutcher when it comes to sex. Um, yeah. uh, as far as I know, has called out Vosh. I don't know if he got the files or whatever. Yeah. Um, has called out Vosh for... Uh, because Vosh ended up, I, if if I recall, showing his own folder mm -hmm. on his stream and leaking it by accident, mm -hmm. um, if I recall correctly. <laughs> and um, so Ethan's just been like really trying to to put him on blast for that. And Vosh has been responding and then saying, I'm not going to respond because it's not doing well. And yeah, um, I. Like anyone who's followed Vosh would know this about him, that he's like this. So anyone who's already his fan does not give a shit. I'm telling you that much. Nobody cares. 
Uh, as far as Ethan's fans go, he's cultivated an audience of pro oh, yeah. on his end, especially like anyone who didn't leave his audience when he was debating his son on, I yeah. can't remember if it was trans issues or something to do with like yeah. non-binary stuff, but yeah. he came off to the leftists as being like such a reactionary pro clutcher yeah. that he surely lost a fraction of his audience. And I think he's now trying to take a chunk out of Vosh and yeah. as f- sort of like vindication. That's weird. I want to show you a small video. Then we go. This is a video I just saw today on about Vosh. Let's see if I have it all. Does Does it always need to be short? Like, why don't we? Why don't we react? Let's do some react content. Oh, I, I, yeah, I, I didn't have long video. You know, I'm gonna do that like by next week. I'm gonna give you like long videos because I do. I do that when I do it on my own. Like when I yeah, when send I, them to I'm me solo. as soon as as soon as you get them, just send them to me. And I'll yeah, watch I'm gonna them take them down. I'm gonna send them to you, and then whenever you come on, you already you already have some. But I just want to. This is short. This is about this is Vosh talking, by the way, and I can't believe what he's saying. Yeah. It is possible. Please, uh, please, right now, uncuck your dumb shit, lib cuck, fucking SJW brains okay, and that. recognize <laughs> this empirically correct fact that I am about to spit. It is possible for an adult and a child to have a sexual relationship and for it to have positive outcomes on the child as well. Okay. Did that sound, I mean, that did not sound right. I, I do believe he's disavowed that since saying it. Like this is really old news, and he's disavowed this like years ago. But did he say it? No. Well, yeah, he obviously said it. he was right there saying it. It's not AI, right? But he doesn't stand yeah. by that anymore. Yeah, but I mean, why would you? I mean, I, I grew up all my life. I never believed in that. I mean, why? Especially he's a he's an he's an intellectual individual. When I listen to him, why would you have that kind of view? <laughs> or ever have that kind of view in your whole life? I mean, I, uh huh. Vosh definitely started his debate career, and this is like me criticizing criticizing him. I'm not trying to like free yeah. him or, at all, but he started his career with saying things that were beyond like they were so out of convention that people yeah. would react to them, and everyone would talk about it, right? And that's what that's what built his name up actually a lot uh, of the time. Yeah, yeah. Um, so he wasn't wrong in doing that, but I think it was absolutely gross that he did that. But that was the wrong topic to do. I mean, you could do other things. I could, I could say, well, uh, I have pictures of me and Fuchab, uh, you know, doing sexual stuff. Just fly and go, oh, he, does he have it? Does he have it? You know. All yes sudden, and no. Know. Here's the thing, right? Like yeah. in Twitch poll, uh, because there's always like certain platforms that are hosting certain topics on their panels. So like one, one panel will do really well because they host a certain po- topic. So all the other panels will host it, and then everybody's talking about that topic, right? Right. So I think that's a lot of context about what Vosh is saying there is that yeah. a lot of other people in his space were also talking about it at the time. And so that's often why he talks about this stuff. But on top of that, he he's a bad.